we will initiate the fresh store on Azure SQL managed instance. We will uh, do two things here. First one is like um, we will uh, use the backup of uh, the database that is present in uh, the Azure SQL managed instance, and then we will restore a database with a different name using that backup. And second thing is like uh, we will drop an existing database. And then what we will do is like we will use that backup that is taken for the drop database and then we restore that particular database and try recovering it. So what I'll do now is like I will uh, get into uh, uh, this particular managed instance where I'm going to perform the restore. And if you are able to see the screen now, we have two uh, databases on this particular managed instance. One is JB Finance and another one is JB Credit. And uh, I'll be uh, using the JB credit for this particular demo. First, I will be uh, restoring um, um, a, a database called uh, JB credit underscore uh, 27 October 2022 using the backup of this JP credit database. And once uh, that is done, what I'll do is like I will drop uh, JB credit and JB credit 27 October 2022 database. And then I will uh, use the backup of JB credit and restore the JB credit database once it is dropped. So this is what I'm going to do. So let's uh, get on to uh, the SSMS and then uh, let's look at the list of databases here. It is again JB Credit and JB Finance. So now what I'll do is like I will go to the backups uh, tab under uh, data management. And uh, as far as JB Credit is concerned, uh, this is a time this database was created, which was uh, 3.30 p.m. today uh, UTC. So I will click on uh, restore here. And then what I'll do is like I will enter the database name here as um, uh, JB Credit uh, 27 October 2022. So the restore will happen on the same uh, managed instance where we have the JB Credit database. So let's click on next. So uh, use existing data here. If I select none, that that means like it's going to create an uh, uh, empty database. Now I'm going to use continuous backup point in time restore. Uh, you can also use discrete backup long term retention, but uh, I don't have this one enabled. So I'm just going to use continuous backup point in time restore. So uh, uh, subscription and resource group have given it as appropriate and the managed instance where the restore is going to uh, happen uh, is JB uh, dist MI PRA SI. And that's the same uh, managed instance for my data source also that is um, from where I'm going to get the backup and the backup will be for the managed database is JB credit and the restore point would be um, uh, uh, 10 uh, that is today 27 October 2022 around uh, 3:43 p.m. UTC so this is the backup that I'm going to use and then restore uh, um, a database called JB credit uh, 27 October 2022 let's click on next uh, uh, here I'm going to generate the retention for the source database. So here I don't have any kind of uh, long term retention. Um, short term retention is going to be seven days. So that means like the backups at any point in time, you will be able to see seven days of backup. For example, I've created the database today. And then if I go back and uh, um, uh, look at the same database backups after eight days and what I'll be able to see is like I'll be able to see the last seven days backup and I'll be able to pick that up and restore it. If uh, I need to have an, um, uh, um, a larger retention, then definitely we can do that. Uh, let me uh, just want to show you guys. So let me uncheck this. And then if you look at it, yeah. So uh, what you can do is like the point in time restore, you can increase it to uh, 35 days. Yeah. And then long term retention also, you will be able to mention the weekly long term uh, retention backup, monthly and yearly long term retention backup. So all these things will be. Um, um, uh, once uh, specified here will be like maintained for uh, uh, up to 10 years. Yeah. Yep. And um, as far as the point in time rest short, you can have till 35 days. Uh, increasing the days is going to increase your uh, cost also because uh, um, on the backup the backup cost will uh, definitely be increasing if uh, uh, it is going to exceed your database. For example, if uh, the available storage for this managed instance is going to be, uh, let's say, um, uh, close to uh, one terabyte, then uh, any uh, backups um, size, uh, if it is going to go above 
people that want terabyte then we will have to pay um, uh, for that so uh, it is better we understand our RTO and our RPO and depending upon the RPO what I suggest is like we configure uh, the retention and uh, for example if we feel like we need to go back and get uh, some old backups for some uh, appropriate reason then it is better we configure um, um, uh, the retention here accordingly yep so uh, here I'm going to click on cancel and then I'm going to check this generate retention from source database. I'm going to click on tags next and then uh, review create. And then uh, if you look at it, yeah, the database that I'm going to create is JB create 27 October 2022 on this particular managed instance, which is same as this managed instance. Um, uh, so basically I'm going to use the backup of JB create database, which is taken around uh, this time. So let's start the restore here. Okay, the restore is uh, started. Uh, I will uh, let you guys know once the restore is completed. I'll, in the meantime, let me pause this video. Okay, so the restore is completed. Let's go to the resource. So we are able to see a new database created JB Credit uh, 27 October 2022. So uh, let's get into that particular uh, managed instance and then let's look at the overview tab. So we are able to see that particular uh, new database created. So now what I'll do is like I will go to the SSMS and then refresh it and see if I can see the database there. Here you go. So uh, we were able to restore um, our database JB Credit 27 October 2022 from the backups of uh, this particular database. So what we'll do now is like we will uh, query this database and see if we are able to get some data. We'll select JB create first. Let's query table one. So we're able to see close to 100 rows. So let's check the same thing on uh, the restore database too. So we are able to see 100 rows here too. So what I'll do now is like, I will um, drop these two databases, that is JB credit and then uh, the one that I restored now, JB Create 27 October 2022. Once the, these two databases are dropped, what I'll do is like I will uh, go back to uh, the Azure portal and then restore uh, the JB Create database. Okay, so the databases are uh, dropped, both these databases are dropped. So what we'll do now, we will go to the Azure portal and then let's restore uh, JB Create database. Okay, so um, if you look at the um, uh, overview tab for this particular managed instance, we are just seeing one database as expected because we dropped the other two database. Let's go to the backups. And since JB Finance is the only database available, we are not able to see any other databases here. So what we'll do is like we will select deleted under show databases. And here we are able to see the database JB Create here. So what I'll do is like I'll click on Restore and um, Subscription and Resource Group is selected as appropriate. And then I will name this database as JB Create here. And uh, so this is the managed instance where the database will be created. So let's click on Data Source. Uh, and uh, here use existing data. I'm going to use continuous backup point in time restore. Uh, subscription resource group is selected as appropriate and the managed instance is uh, same as where we are going to restore. And what you're going, going to do is like we are going to um, restore this particular database. And this is the time this database was dropped. So uh, we will use this, uh, use the backup that was taken just before dropping this database. So let's click on next additional settings. So here uh, we discussed about this um, a short and long term retention configuration. So here I will go ahead with uh, uh, the default seven days. So let's click on review and create. So what I'm going to do is like I'm going to uh, restore the JB credit database that was uh, dropped earlier. I'm going to restore um, using the backup uh, which was taken uh, just before dropping the database. So let's uh, um, start the restore. 
again the restore uh, the table the database is a little smaller so the restore should be completing soon okay the restore is complete so let's go to the resource again and uh, so what I'm seeing is like we have created uh, uh, the database JB credit using uh, the backup of um, the drop database JB credit. So we are able to create that. So let's uh, go back to the managed instance and then let's see if we are able to see the database there. Yes, we are able to see it. Yeah. And also on the SSMS, we are able to see the database. Uh, we were able to restore it. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.